I can't believe we're all stuck here for the holidays. Hey, Christmas at Hogwarts isn't so bad. I suppose. At least it makes it easier for me to accidentally lose my Weasley jumper. I can think of one bad thing about Christmas at Hogwarts. What's that, Neville? Snape alert! Uh oh. What are you children doing out of bed? It's the middle of the day. That's no excuse. Twenty points from Gryffindor, and you'll all serve detention tomorrow. But sir, tomorrow's Christmas Day. And I need to get caught up in potions. You know I'm failing. That's your own fault for being an idiot. No, that's your fault for bullying him instead of actually teaching. A further ten points from Gryffindor. Now get to your dorms and stay there forever. Forever? But what about the Christmas feast tomorrow? Forever means forever. What about when the holidays end? Will we at least be able to go to classes? I'll consider it. Stupid Gryffindors. Why can't they leave me alone? Because you suck. You said that? Serious Black, I thought you were dead. Yeah, well, that's why I'm a ghost, genius. Oh, here we go. I'm here to deliver a warning. Do you know what will happen if you don't change your ways? Yeah, your stupid godson's life will continue to suck. You will go to hell. Well, at least I'll be able to visit you there, Black. Tonight, you will be visited by three spirits. Oh, this isn't some Charles Dickens thing, is it? To meet the first one, you must journey to the top of the Divination Tower. I don't know why I'm doing this. This is so stupid. Hello, Professor Trelawney. I'm here to meet someone. My name's not Professor Trelawney. I'm the ghost of Christmas past. No, you're Professor Trelawney. Shut up. I'm going to show you your past now. Do you recognize that young boy? Of course, that's me. Oh, thanks. I wasn't sure. And there's Lily Evans. Thank you for the Christmas gift, Severus. You're such a sweetheart. You're welcome. Hey, it's Snivellus. Back off, Potter. Severus is much better than all of you. Really? Because at least I know how to wash my hair. Very funny. Lily is going to marry me, Potter, and you better get used to it. Yeah, I can totally see a muggle-born witch marrying a greaseball obsessed with the dark arts. Let's not make this about me. Please, between me and Snivellus, who would you choose? Um... Choose me, you stupid mudblood! Maybe I will choose James after all. No, Lily, I didn't mean it. Honest. Too late, Snivellus. And that's how you lost Lily Evans. That was all Potter's fault. He tricked me. Now you must go outside and meet the ghost of Christmas present. Hello, Professor. I suppose you're the ghost of Christmas present? Yep, let's go up to Gryffindor Tower. You know, if I wanted to spy on the Golden Trio, I could have done it without a ghost helping me. I don't see what the point of this is. I know those dunderheads hate me. 
Maybe they don't hate you as much as you think. What do you think Snape meant by forever? I mean, are we supposed to stay up here for the rest of our lives? Well, that creature you'll get will have to die eventually, won't he? Then we can mutilate his stinking corpse and laugh as we feed it to the vultures. Yeah, they totally don't hate me as much as I thought. Keep listening. Now, Ron, I know Snape is mean, but he is in the Order. Besides, he's probably just under a lot of stress. No, he's just a jerk. So you're going to descend to his level? Okay, fine. But how can you justify what he does to Neville? With Snape's detention tomorrow, I'll never be able to finish up my homework. Just how badly is Longbottom doing? That's not my department. Hagrid, where did you go? Come on, this isn't funny anymore. Well, I guess you're supposed to be the ghost of Christmas future. As far as I can tell, you're just a Dementor, and I can conjure a Patronus as well as anyone. Fine. Show me what happens to Longbottom. I'm sorry, Mr. Longbottom, but you have failed all your classes. Please, just, just give me one more chance. We have no choice. We simply have to expel you. Your wand will be disposed of later this week. You will live as a muggle for the rest of your life. But it's Snape's fault. She made sure I couldn't pass any of my classes. Perhaps, but I'm afraid rules are rules. I can't believe I'm asking this, but can these events be changed? I will change them. I swear. Sir, what are you doing up here? What are you doing up here? Shouldn't you be at the Christmas feast? You banned us from ever leaving our common room, remember? I changed my mind. Cause we have a detention with you today, right? Detention? Why would I give my favorite students detention? By the way, a thousand points to Gryffindor just because I love you guys so much. Okay, I'm scared now. Is anyone else scared? As for you, Longbottom, I'm giving you an acceptable grade for this semester. A acceptable? I've, I've never scored that high in potions before. Just don't expect me to be so nice next semester. Now hurry up, kids. The feast is getting cold. And another thousand points to Gryffindor, for no reason. God bless us, everyone.